Good morning, everyone. Um, today is Tuesday, and so as promised, I'm going to do a Teaching Tuesday um, vlog for the for the page. Um, so this week, I wanted to focus on something that I have a lot of in my classroom, and those are these little plastic colored bins. So um, let's just get to it, and I'll start talking a little bit about those. Sorry, while I turn you around. Hopefully, this one time I won't be covering the microphone. Um, so. Sorry, my nose itches too. In my classroom, I have a ton of these plastic bins in several different colors. Um, I got them at the Dollar Tree, and I really, really like having them. Um, I really like having them for a couple different reasons. Um, one, they have several different colors, so they, they add a little bit of color and brightness to the classroom. Um, and I like you know the kids being able to see all the different colors in here just makes them excited to be here and um, or at least I think it helps them be excited to be here um, so that's the first thing they add a little bit of color and they add a little bit of excitement to the room but um, the second reason why I really like them is for their organizational purposes um, <clears throat> I really like how <coughs> excuse me how it helps everything have a place and it helps me know like for example in this bookshelf the blue containers on the top are all of my bilingual books and that means they're Spanish and English I don't have any other bilingual books any other like bilingual like Mandarin or English and on the bottom I know that the green books mean that it's just Spanish and my kids also know that too so if they want to challenge themselves with a book you know that's English and Spanish they know right where to find it and but if they also want to stay you know in a comfort zone um, in their native language they also know where they can find their native language books um, so that's the second reason why I really like them um, and they're really sturdy I was surprised when I got them at the dollar store I really thought that they might be a little cheap because they were a dollar a piece um, but overall like the quality is pretty good um, you know I don't want my kids be super rough with them you know like we we don't I don't know how to say it like we we don't usually like pull things off the shelf really fast and we don't toss them around or anything like that so they've stayed pretty good the whole year um, and yeah I think that although they were a dollar a piece for an organizational system in your classroom I think that's a pretty good deal especially because like say I bought 40 of them you know this year next year I won't have that added expense because I already purchased them um, and so I think if they're well maintained, you know, they can they can be good for not forever, but they can be good for quite a long time. Um, and so, yeah, like I really like having them in my classroom. The dollar store has several colors um, and generally I, I'm finding because I'm trying to collect them. Generally finding the ones that have these bumps on the front and the bigger ones like this, this type it's more difficult. People really like these and they go quicker. And what they do is on holidays, they bring out different colors. So when I first got them, I actually got them in purple and red, like this deep red that you see right there. Um, but I, my, the theme of my classroom is around the world. And so I really wanted green and blue. Um, and so at Christmas time, Sean actually found me a whole bunch of these green and blue ones. And um, he went to several different Dollar Trees to find all of the ones that he, that he needed. Um, so they have several colors that come out. I even saw like a really pale pink one time. Um, and so, you know, I like that they have color options and the dollar store is actually really good too about returns. So like one time I grabbed a bunch and they were the wrong size and I just brought them right back in and they were like, yeah, go ahead and grab, grab the other ones and return them. It's not a problem. So, um, th they're really good about return, returning the products if it's not exactly what you need or what you want. So yeah, that's, this is my first little uh, classroom vlog talking about like a specific topic and I hope you guys liked talking about the bins and hearing about them. Um, if you're interested, the dollar store usually has quite a few. It seems like they come out more around the holidays or around like back to school time. Um, so keep an eye out for them. They're really nice. And um, thank you guys so much for checking in and I will talk to you.